Hi all. In this video, we are going to see about Ether Channel Lab, and this is our scenario. That is uh, what we are going to configure. This is our lab, and this is our um, configuration things. That is, this is our uh, practical that we are going to do. Okay, let's get into the configuration part. We just want to configure a PHP between switch one and switch two. Switch one should actively try to form an ether channel, and switch two should only respond to the request. Make sure ether channel is formed and confirm in which interface the ether channel is formed, and what protocol is used. We just want to confirm PHP is being used. That's what is being mentioned here. Okay, let's get into the switch. Okay, first thing. I just give a host name for all the switches. This is what is switch one. Host name switch two, and then this is our switch three. Hosting switch three. Okay. Uh, this is our switches, and we need to configure it. We just want to configure PHP between switch one and switch three. Sorry, switch two. Okay. So for this, we are CDC table in switch one and Layer CDC table in switch two also. As if I didn't clear, means it might take uh, near to three minutes uh, to form a table. That is, uh, which uh, port to which the consumer uh, could device is being connected. So this clear means enter session only will be removed, and then a uh, fresh thing will be. It will take a couple of seconds to do the process. If I didn't clear, it means it may take a uh, little time. So that's why I clear it. So CDP neighbor. Since I have cleared it to other switches also. So what we need to do is to uh, configure a PHP between switch one and two. Switch one should actively try to form a ether channel. Um, in order to form an uh, actively switch one in terms of PAG, which is the probability, uh, we need to use auto mode. And then in for switch two, we should have to respond to the request. So we should have to use sorry for switch one, we should have to use the desirable and switch two should have to use the auto. That's what we are going to uh, configure. Okay. Yeah, got it. Uh, the system and switch two is interface passive between zero slash one configuration mode interface range because both are continuous um, interfaces. I'm going to in configuration also to be turned on both interfaces. So I'm just using a range command switch port mode trunk and then channel group one and creating a channel group number one. Uh, which means that if I create the channel group number, another interface will be created in the name of post channel, and all the interfaces that is being bundled to the channel group one will be synchronized with post channel. So this clear is just so you can just check it. And your physical interface only default VLAN is being configured for the interface. Okay, I'm going to create one channel group. Channel group one mode, it should have to actively participate. So I'm just going to use the desirable mode over here. Channel group one uh, mode desirable. That's it. You can just check it. So I see interface three. The fourth channel is being configured and it is down. And then we want to configure for switch two right now. This is our switch one. 
the same thing should be configured on switch 2 interface range fast ethernet 0 plus I want to confirm it 2 to KDP neighbors it's uh, yeah 1 and 2 interface range fast ethernet 0 plus 1 to 2 and then switch port mode trunk then channel group 1 this is the channel group that I have created it has to be the same. The channel group one does what the support channel one is being created. Channel group one and then mode. Um, I have created a where I have configured for desirable which will send a request. Uh, this has to accept a request in terms of PHP. So I am using here is auto. See now the code gets up. You can just click it here by using the command show ether channel summary. It will give you a view of which are all the interfaces. You can see here fast between 0 plus 1 and 0 plus 2. The protocol that has been used here is PAGP and the code is up, which means yes, you. Yes stands for layer 2 and U is written use. So it is up. You can also confirm by so, the channel, port channel. Okay, the protocol is here PAGP, and um, we have used uh, some auto that is automatic. So, and a group one and port channel one. Here, you can just check the same thing as so. Uh, the channel summary. In this case, pass it in zero plus one. The protocol uses PAGP, and the port is up. Then show the channel, four channel. Here okay, you here is desirable. This is what it shows and what I am. And that's it about the first uh, thing. And next is configure LACP between switch two and three. And switch two should actually try to form a ether channel, and switch three should only respond to the request. The same thing, but we have to do it in LACP. Then in switch 2 and switch 3. Okay. We just want to configure switch 2. These are switch 2. So, TDP neighbors. Okay. Then, um, we want to configure for interface range. For switch 3 is this two. Pass to Ethernet 0 slash 3 to 4. Switch 4 more trunk. Uh, then I just want to create a channel group. Channel group number 2. Since I have already used the 1, I am using now as 2. Channel group 2. Then uh, I just want to create a mode. Which mode we are going to use? We are using, going to use LACP now. It may be active or passive. Active will send a request. Passive will only receive a request. Active will send and receive. But passive will only accept it. Then, uh, we just want to configure it as active here. Okay. That's it. Uh, now you can confirm the port channel 2 will be created. Yeah, port channel 2 is being created and it is down. Now we need to configure a switch 3. For connecting with switch 2. So, interface range, fast internet, 0 slash 3 to 4. Switch port mode trunk, then channel group. The channel group number that I have used for switch 2 is 2. So I am using the same thing. Same thing should actually be matched for a channel group number or else it will not form a channel. Channel group 2 mode 
have used LHCP and it is active and I am using here as well as it should only has to accept their request ok then this one is set it so we just can summary down we are using post channel 2 um, 0 slash you see this down yeah now it gets up yeah so then see here is LHV it is some sort of slowness uh, the post channel 2 is down over here is the layer 2 is down but now after a couple of seconds it just gets up now the ether channel is up you can also check it by so ether channel post channel the interface, which all the interfaces, and what is the state of the interface? It is a mode that we have configured it. Passive here, same thing, you can set it over here. So, ether channel 4 channel is active for 3 and 4. And this is how we need to configure for LACP. And what is the final task? Configure a ether channel between 6, 1, and 3. You are not allowed to use any negotiation. Uh, negotiation. So then we should not do anything that which will decide to form a ether channel. We should have to do it manually. That's what we are saying here. So this is six one and three. Okay. So C D C neighbors three and four port number. Configuration mode. Interface range passive in a 0 plus 3 to 4. Then, um, six post most trunk. You just want to create a channel group. I am now creating a channel group 3 because I already have created a channel group number 1 and 2. Channel group 3 mode. Uh, here active passive. It belongs to LACP and auto and it belongs to PAGP. Which will do a negotiation to form a ether channel. Now I am going to create a on over here. Channel group one mode on. Then uh, channel group one mode on is over here. Then uh, it will form. It will create a so I say interface three. It will create a port channel three over here. Okay. Next, I just want to go to switch two. Now, just want to configure a input channel for this one and this three. Here you can just take it this one and this three. Pass it to zero plus one and two. Okay. Uh, configuration mode interface range pass it to zero plus one to two. This port mode run. Then Channel group. I have created a channel group number three on switch one. So channel group number three. Then mode is has to be on. That's it. So this is channel summary. You can just take it over here as uh, we don't see any sort of protocol. Since on a channel for LACP and PACP and we are configuring the RSS, it will not accept any sort of protocols. Uh, it is what we are configuring in manual. It has to be up on both ends. So it does it on doesn't have any sort of protocols. It may be um, it's just a fixed one. And the port is up. Port channel, you see it is up and the interface that is over here are partition 0 slash 1 and uh, partition 0 slash 2. You can also confirm that with 3. So, we check channel summary. Yeah, it is also over here as AC1 pass Ethernet 0 plus 3 and pass Ethernet 0 plus 2. And finally, we have configured the channel. And that's it. Uh, this is our task. It has been completed. If you have any doubt regarding either channel, you can just comment in the session. Thanks for watching. Until next time.